seems like everyone lately has been attacking V Shred. Now, if you don't know who V Shred is, you've probably seen him pop up on an ad before, but he has this funnel where you go in, you do this quiz, it shows you your body type, and it's a fitness program. It's an online fitness trainer, tracker, along with supplements and all these different assortments of health and wellness varieties. But there's someone else in the picture who's been getting a lot of credit lately. And I think this person actually might be more dangerous than V Shred. Now, V Shred is someone I don't disagree with everything he says. There's some things I agree with, some things I don't agree with. However, he's been getting a lot of heat lately, especially from guys like Greg Doucette, the Joe Rogan incident, the whole problem he had with a bunch of different health influencers. They're kind of coming after this guy, right? I mean, guys like Chris Williamson has been going after him. Derek talked about him on his podcast. Derek talked about him a few times. But let's see who are the real bad guys here. Who's actually doing the most damage? Everyone thinks V Shred is giving out bad information. Some of it might not be true. A lot of it might be marketing. But how much is he actually hurting people? He's trying to promote health naturally. He's trying to get people to take an initiative and give them little tips to improve their health. And they may not always work. They may not be backed up by science, but at least they give a placebo effect. However, there's someone else out there. And this guy is almost a hero right now. Everyone's talking about him, saying that he's got all of these great products and great information. Now, I will admit that this guy is a genius. He is very good at what he does. He is very good at understanding the science, and he is very good at conveying that through his YouTube channel. Now, you may have an idea who this guy is, but the problem is he's actually doing a lot more damage than you'd expect. Now, he has a supplement company, but he also owns a clinic, and that's where things get a little bit hairy here. And I'm talking about Derek, aka More Plates, More Dates. Now, I've learned a lot from Derek, and I really do enjoy his content. And some of his products are actually ones I've tried before. Now, when it comes to his product line, yes, there are some scandals with his turkesterone not actually having turkesterone in it, and the Tonkatali he's using not actually having urecominone. Now, he's addressed these, and he may have actually changed the ingredients to fix this problem, but the Tonkat does not have the 4.3 kill Dalton peptide, but that's another situation. Check out the Tonkatali video if you want to learn more about that. However, the issue here with Derek is that he's promoting young men to use his clinic. Now, he's acting very innocent about this, right? But if you look at other popular YouTubers, such as Jesse James West, who goes around to places like expo centers and fitness competitions and interviews guys, they always want to get bigger and they always think that hopping on something is the pathway to getting bigger. Steroids are the most popular they've ever been in the fitness industry. And guys like Derek make this very easy for young men to who have normal hormone panels, who are in great physical shape, who are exercising, eating well, to feel like they're not enough and causing them to go and hop on these exogenous hormones, which isn't just a one-time thing. It's not like a supplement. You see V Shred, he's selling information and he's selling supplements. If you get the information, you don't like it. All you lose is your money. If you get the supplements and you don't like it, once again, you just lose your money. But at least you learn what does and what doesn't work for you and you can try something else. And it's not going to have a negative lasting effect in your life. This is where Derek is different. You see, Derek does say that these hormone replacement therapies are not for everyone, but he's also providing these hormone replacement therapies for men. Out of most men, especially the younger men, the only men who really truly need these therapies are men who have things like pituitary gland tumors, who have issues producing these hormones naturally within their body. And that's such a small fraction of a percentage of men, yet Derek's making millions of month from his clinic. Now, the issue with this is that the long-term effects of hopping on these are detrimental. Now, if you haven't already checked it out, now check out my TRT Truths video to see what the actual side effects are of these products, but I'll give you a few here. Once you get on TRT, your body gets signaled that it doesn't need to produce testosterone anymore, which means your testes stop producing the testosterone that it's normally meant to produce. Now, if a man doesn't have testes or he lost a testy due to an incident, he can still produce it with one testy. And even if he lost both, he can still produce testosterone a little bit through the adrenal, but that's a very small amount. However, the brain stimulates the production of testosterone from the testes. And when that connection gets cut off, not only do your nuts shrink up, but your body stops producing testosterone naturally. And that is where the problem lies. This could be reversed. At most, it will cause you to not produce testosterone anymore. And at the very least, it'll actually decrease your body's natural ability to produce testosterone. Now, the issue with young men getting on this and seeing Derek as such a good role model, such a figure of science, he's, he's so in tune with the scientific literature and he's 
very good at conveying his message. However, young men are very impressionable. They want to do the easiest thing and the biggest and most impactful thing. And when Derek makes it so accessible for these young men, it's almost a no brainer for him because he's making a ton of money off these guys by feeding into their insecurities. Because like the Jesse James West video shows, you're gonna stay natural? Uh, yeah. Why'd you hesitate on that? Because it's just so tempting to just get huge. Most young guys in the gym wanna be huge and they believe that it takes these exogenous hormones in order to get there. The problem here is that TRT is actually not one of the main things that the real big bodybuilders use. They have a whole concoction of different heavy pharmaceuticals. And this is not an attack on Derek at all. I actually really enjoys Derek's content and I love to learn from him. But this is just a sign of awareness from the people you get information from could also be feeding into other insecurities. And these things could hurt you. That is why, although Vshred is very conniving with his marketing, the things he does are not really going to hurt you. You may go to the gym more. You may try a different diet. You may try a new supplement. But at the end of the day, if they work for you, great. And if they don't, then you can just stop taking them. Once you get into exogenous hormones, this is no longer the situation. He's normalizing things like steroids and TRT. And these come with long-term detrimental effects, even after you stop taking them for years and years, possibly for the rest of your life. So why is it fair that V-Shred is getting all this hate? Now, I understand that his ads being all over the internet sometimes gets annoying for some people, but this guy is just marketing and he is just trying to get people to do his course. And he's actually helped guys lose weight. And Derek's, I'm sure, helped a plethora of guys get a better transformation in the gym and improve their health and well-being. But the problem with that is he's also damaged probably more guys than he's helped from affecting their hormones through his clinic. Whereas V-Shred is helping people lose weight and get into shape. Although he's doing it in ways that are a little bit sketchy, Derek is in a different boat. You see, V-Shred is selling low quality supplements that really don't do anything and they probably deserve to be getting scrutinized and they deserve to be getting ridiculed because they're basically useless. However, Derek has credibility because some of his supplements are actually pretty good. Some of them are kind of jokes, but some are actually pretty decent and he's using his credibility in science to make guys want more. They want to take his supplements. Oh, wait, he also has a clinic. Maybe I should just get checked. Maybe I should just go see if I need to get my numbers up. And that's where everything starts because even guys like Coach Andre Bettinson, who've reached out to clinics before with his over 900 nanogram per deciliter total testosterone, has been told that he can still hop on TRT and still improve his numbers. Testosterone level. So he definitely can still enhance this. Although he's already above the reference range and he's already in a place where his body is producing muscle and growing. And that's why these guys are the sketchiest. These guys are the most important people to look out for. Yes, bad supplements suck. I mean, V-Shred supplements probably cost him more money to buy the bottle than the actual supplements themselves. But the supplements, they're just... <sighs> fairy dust. But once you get into exogenous hormones, that's where things get totally dangerous. And that's why I like to analyze V-Shred and I like to analyze guys like Derek, because the takeaway here is to always look a little deeper. There's always the invitation to go deeper. And honestly, it's the same for us at Afro-D. We're also selling a supplement. So that's something that we are transparent about and something that we need to make sure that people can do their due diligence on. We provide all the research, we provide all the information, and we provide all the third-party lab tests because we want to ensure sure that people know they're getting the highest quality product available. And that's our real goal here is to help guys understand that they can naturally boost their testosterone through lifestyle changes, through things like diet, exercise, sleep quality, the big three that everyone talks about. There are actually tangible steps that you can take over time to improve your testosterone. You can do what people like Doc Farhan and Andre Bettinson have done, which is doubling their total testosterone. I personally tripled my free testosterone and I already had high testosterone. If I hopped on TRT, my SHBG levels would have skyrocketed alongside my testosterone and my free testosterone would have continued to suffer. And not only that, but the heart effects would have greatly started to damage me because I'm taking my body out of homeostasis. And that is why I never have hopped on any of these exogenous drugs, because for me, my health comes first. I want to feel good. I want to be able to perform well. But most importantly, if I'm doing these things and I'm not able to function as a normal human being, if my health isn't working, then it's just not worth it. And the 
big difference here with the exogenous hormones is that they're going to cause long-term side effects, things that are harder, that take more work, like the sleep, exercise, diet. And of course, there is a place for quality herbs and supplements, but the sleep, diet, and exercise are really the big three here. There is a time and place for that, but they take time. TRT is very easy to just hop on. You see your results in a matter of weeks, and then your body's hooked on it. You're doing this for the rest of your life. You have to inject the needle or add a cream. It's just not natural, and the side effects are just not worth the situation you're in. The only time it is worth it, the only time, is if your body is unable to produce this naturally due to something like a pituitary gland tumor, because there is an important time and place for pharmaceuticals. If you're one of the big bodybuilders and you have to compete with all those guys, then sure, go hop on your trend bologna sandwich, because that is what your career is, and that is the trade-off you are making in your life. But young guys who are looking up to guys like Derek, who are trying to get in good shape, to feel healthy, to just be able to look at themselves in the mirror and feel good, do not need to be hopping on TRT. Their body's already making testosterone. If they just put in the effort over months and years, their testosterone will increase naturally. And this is why it's so important for guys like Derek to start mentioning the negatives of TRT. He talks about it as it's not for everyone, but most clinics prescribe it to anyone who wants it. And this is why people like V-Shred shouldn't be getting all this heat because V-Shred is just selling information and selling low quality supplements. And that's the end of it. But Derek is selling TRT. If he's not selling it directly, he's selling it through his clinic. And more importantly, he's selling it through his authority without talking about these long-term detrimental effects, because he kind of skips over this information. He talks about the benefits and the use case, but when it comes to side effects, he just says, well, it's not for everyone, but he never really gets into the long-term side effects of taking this. And of course, I wouldn't blame him because he's trying to sell it. Why would he say it's not good if he's trying to sell something? However, this is where men need to understand what the difference is, because if someone like Derek isn't going to tell you, then you have to listen to other people, right? You have to look at people talking about this, other doctors, other scientists, other people who aren't affiliated with TRT clinics. So try and look at both sides of the argument and think twice before hopping on TRT, especially if you just saw Derek doing an awesome video, breaking down a health trend or breaking down someone's regiment or a bodybuilder if they're natty or not. The deal with this is that most guys in the gym are going to do their own thing anyway, but it's up to you to do what's best for your future self, for your future children, and for your future partner. And when it comes to bodybuilding, unless you're performing in the top 0.01% and you're making a living off of that, it's probably smart to be able to optimize your hormones naturally and be able to live a longer life to support your family and take care of others around you without putting a detriment on your health because it's possible. Derek doesn't talk about this enough. V-Shred talks about this, which is why I feel like he's being targeted by so many guys who are on these performance enhancing drugs. He is the target because he's offering an alternative to what these guys are selling or peddling. And that's why he's being targeted. He's on the hot seat. Now he's not perfect. There's definitely things they can target target him about, but no one's talking about Derek because if they were talking about Derek, then that means they would have to talk about what they're doing. And they don't want to do that because that means that the cash flow might start to run dry. So just think twice here. If you've personally experienced TRT or have any opinions on guys like V Shred or Derek, leave them in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for your health.